So today we have Juni again, and what we're going to practice with Juni is an exercise called chin rest. Um, the reason why we like to do the chin rest is because it's part of the cooperative care technique that we use for physical exam. So if I want to check her uh, face, her ears, her eyes, see, she just offered me a nice behavior so I can't ignore that. She jumped on me, I ignored it. As soon as she went back down and sat, I clicked and I rewarded her for making a good decision. So I just wanted to point that out. But the chin exercise helps us do an exam of the face, like eyes, ears. I can see that she is eager to participate. She knows I have food and something is going on here. So that's what I want, that expectation. See bad behavior? Good behavior. So bad behavior gets ignored, good behavior gets rewarded. That's kind of how we go about it. So I don't want her to know that I want to check her face today. So the way we're gonna do this, since she is so ready, I'm gonna offer my hand and any behavior that she does that I don't like, I'm going to ignore. So I want her to let me hold her chin. I want her to rest her head on my hand. That's the end goal here. So I can actually examine her face. So if she does anything else, I'm going to ignore that. As soon as she does what I want her to do, I'm going to click and reward to make a point that she did it right. So if she avoids me like that, nothing happens. She knows that I have to touch her chin like that. She got distracted with the noise outside. So if she refuses a little bit, so sometimes I have to let them fail and figure out what I want them to do. I could grab her forcefully, just try to grab her muzzle, but then that will probably create an avoidance behavior and that's not what I want. I want this to be her decision to cooperate with me, right? So I'm gonna always offer my hand, and when she lets me touch her chin, when she rests her chin on my, on my hand, that's when I click and I reward. Now she will figure out that that's what I want pretty soon. So before she was avoiding my hand a lot. Now she figured that that's what I want her to do and she's okay with that. I'm not forcing anything. I'm just letting her make the decision to do it, right? So with time, the next step here would be to increase the amount of time that she allows me to hold her chin like that. And then I click and I reward her. So it's now it's just the duration of the behavior. So before it was just like a split second, now it's just a, bit, a little bit longer. Now we're gonna try to move to the next step, which is me kind of grabbing her muzzle for a short period of time. I'm cutting my treats, uh, just so you know, very tiny, very small, tiny pieces, so I'm not overfeeding her. These are just training treats, but I still cut them really tiny, so it's just like a fragment of food, just so you can see that. So now I'm already grabbing her muzzle a little bit. And she's not like the biggest fan of this move. But once she realizes that, you know, this is what we have to do, this is the game we play, she is more cooperative. She is willing to accept it. So I'm grabbing her muzzle already, just like slightly. Okay, we 
we go back to the step from before. So now I'm able to keep her a lot closer to my face. If I need to examine her eyes, her mouth, her lips, that's what this exercise is for. So it desensitizes them to uh, certain types of touch, makes them a lot more friendly and open to this manipulation of the face here. And you know, when this is just that fun game that we do every time we come here, it's not scary. It's not perceived as a physical exam. The next step here would be to st uh, start introducing the tools that we need to examine the eyes. So the light would be the next thing that I would probably start training with her. She's not ready for that today. We're gonna have another training session. This was her warm up for chin exercise. So she's already able to rest her face on my hand, which is what I want. Uh, now the next thing I'm going to pair the word to it, which she doesn't necessarily need it because she already knows the behavior, but I can pair the word and this is how we would do it. Chin. And this is exactly the behavior that I wanted today. I wanted her to voluntarily rest her chin in my hand. Now I'm already pairing the word to it. Chin. So training session number one accomplished. The, the whole duration of this exercise was just a few minutes. Like uh, the total training time was about five minutes, five to seven minutes. It doesn't need to be any longer than that. I want to end this session when she's still excited about it, wanting me to do more, not running away from me and disengage because she's tired, right? So that's why these training sessions need to be really short. Now the next time she comes see us again, we're gonna start using tools. So we're gonna start with this exercise. She's gonna rest her head on my hand and then we're gonna look at her eyes with the lights, right? So we're gonna do a night check on her next time. And then the next thing would be to use um, things in her, her ears. So the otoscope is the tool that we use here, but at home that can be practiced with a pen or anything that we can simulate an otoscope. We are so excited about it, right? Good job. So this is when I want to end this training session here, when she's super excited. This was another cooperative care training video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time.